Greetings, this is Sean. Today I'm going to be showing you how I make this little miniature porch swing. Uh, I've already got all the pieces cut to size, but right here I'm trying to figure out how to create a 15 degree angle for the back of the chair, the chair back. And I'm just kind of looking around and I finally come up with a way where I've got those that 30 degree, 45, and 60 degree angles. Oh, that's me, by the way. I'm using two or three different cameras here. But anyway, I found uh, that if I line up the bottom of the piece with the 30 degree angle, and then starting with on the corner, drawing up the 45 degree line, that will make a 15 degree angle. So it was don't know why it took me so long to figure that out, but it did. Anyway, here I am just cutting the two, uh, those are the two, uh, arm, uh, seat supports that have the angles on the back. You'll see them here in a second. There's actually three of them. And that's the last you'll see of me. Anyway. I'm just marking the center points on... Center points on these... Uh, those, those, this is the frame that I'm building here for the seat. I use a, a playing card here for the uh, as a right angle because they're always true and square. That little piece of wood that I'm using right there is going to be the armrest support, and it's an eighth of an inch, so I was just using it to find out where I need to put the other seat spacers. That's my wife, back in the background. She's working on some of her dollhouse stuff. She and I work together. She's been getting into the polymer clay here recently. Anyway, those are the uh, arm supports. And those little, two little pieces that you see are just to support it while, it's, while the glue is drying. Just some scrap. There you can see the 15 degree angle on the seat supports for the back. You're actually looking at the top of the seat right there with the armrest coming up towards you. Checking to make sure everything's square, which that one there on the left ended up not being square, but it's all right. It's supposed to be a rustic front porch. There you can see how I'm doing it. Lining it up on the 30 degree mark and then tracing a line along the 45 degree angle. And those are the um, back supports. There's two of them on the outside.
I'm just checking to see if they were level with each other, which they were. I actually end up taking, yeah, there it is, my caliper to make sure that they're all the same height. I'm trying to get this one as accurate as possible, making sure the distance between them is the same, which they were pretty close, close enough. And this is the back frame, back of the frame. Those are the backs, the back slats that you'll actually rest your back on when you're sitting in, the, in it. Here I'm just sending off some of the fuzzies. thing that I keep touching the white thing that's my 360 degree camera that I use uh, for my front shot that you saw of me earlier and it actually ran out of battery which is why I keep resetting it I didn't realize the battery was so low on it so I eventually just shut it off which is why you don't see too much of it anymore <laughs> anyway gluing the back slats on I glued the outside ones first each side. I'm just using that piece of wood as a to help support it while it's glue drying, like the other ones before. And these two pieces I'm about to put on replace that and act as a back or as an upper back support. Which I didn't get very good covered footage on this. My head was in the way for one, so I switched to another angle there, which I cut it too soon. It 
I don't know. Messed up. But anyway, get the idea. You'll see it better on this one. These are the seat flats. Then that front piece I have to notch out to go around the armrest supports that are going up there. That's what I'm doing right now is marking where those need to be cut away. a new blade for that knife. <laughs> and so I keep switching to this little chisel. That works so much better. And those are armrest supports. I'm gonna shape them here to make them give them a little curve to them. Just to make it look a little decorative. Everything else is square. You need to have something curved. So that's what I'm doing here. And they'll go on the side of the front armrest supports and help to support the width of the of the armrests. And I don't show it, but I should have actually drilled some holes in the actual arms armrests uh, for the chains to go through, which you'll see I I do, do I do that, but I should have done them first, but uh, I, I don't get it recorded where I drill the holes and whatnot. I apologize for that. There's my little sanding pen that I made. Those things are pretty handy. Okay, no, I need to cut those because they look too bulky. So this, what I'm doing here is just figuring out where I'm going to cut it at a little angle. How narrow it needs to be at the back.
And I just came up with that. Yeah, I could have rounded off the edges of it, but eh, it's fine. I also thought about drilling a small hole in the front of it for like a cup holder type of look. But uh, obviously I didn't do that either. Still could, I suppose. Anyway, that's the basic seat of the chair. Now, uh, you're going to see here in a minute I'm going to cut away and I'll come back and I'll be putting the chains on. This is actually the next day because I had to go to Hobby Lobby to get some chain. I thought we had some, but we didn't. But And this was done on Sunday, so we had to wait till Monday to go and get chains for it. So, uh, right here I'm just deciding <clears throat> where I'm going to drill the holes once I you know, do it. Anyway, there you can see I've already got two chains attached and those are about five inches long. This, I just uh, made some small holes, just big enough for the chains to go through. And uh, I, I wasn't sure how I was gonna attach them. I ended up, I'm just gonna super glue them. You'll see here in a little bit. I'm gonna just super glue them to that where I'm, uh, right next to the armrest, well you'll see. I didn't want the armrest to support the weight of the of the seat. I wanted it, the chain to go down further and have the armrest support actually do the supporting. So anyway, here I'm trying to feed the chain down through the hole, which I do. I use the dental pick to pull it through the rest of the way and I just drop some super glue right on there. That's about that's works pretty good. And then I'm just gonna paint over it later. Which I don't show it painted the painting. You guys don't need to see how I paint it, it's just slapping on some paint and making it look pretty. <laughs> anyway. Um, now I'm taking these I started off with trying to use the like keychain type rings, I don't know what you call them. You know, like the kind that you have to split apart and then twist it around, and it was just too small, too difficult for me to do. So I ended up using um, split rings instead. Yeah, I don't know why I put this in here, but anyway. And I'm going to bring, get some of these split rings instead. Those worked a lot better. They were still difficult to do because they're so small, but I took out four, but I ended up only using two. Uh, anyway, I'm just going to attach those to the chains, the ends of the chains. However, one side was actually longer than the other, so I had, you'll see me here, I'm comparing to see how they sit, and I end up having to adjust them to so that it sits level which you'll see me do. And we haven't figured out how we're going to hang them. I think we got some small hooks that we're going to attach to the ceiling of the porch. And uh, we'll just put the small hooks in there and hang this down and hopefully that'll be it. I had the hardest time with these. They're so small. I'm taking the split ring and putting it on a couple of the dental picks that I have just to see how they sit. And you can see how it sags on that left side there in the front. So I have to adjust that height and that's what I'm doing next. I have to take that split ring apart and adjust it up a few just so that it sits a little bit more level. Which 
I over I did, did too much. Now it's backwards. So now I gotta take it back apart and readjust it. And I spent way too much time doing this. I should have only did it two or three links instead of five or seven. Um, anyway, I eventually get it right. Now what I'm doing is I'm checking the height of each, the length of each one, and trying to adjust it that way. And I don't know what made me possess, possess me to do it that way, but anyway. Um, they end up being about five and a quarter inches long, roughly. Those round discs you see on the back of my rulers, non-slip discs, they keep them from slipping around on the pad and on the wood and whatnot. They actually work pretty good. We picked those up at Hobby Lobby too. Like I say, I spent way too much time trying to figure that out, and it should have been a lot simpler for me to do, but I do get it right. Anyway, that's a little porch swing. Finally got it all nice and level. Anyway. Hope you enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. As I always say, have a better day.